Hello. Deaf Marines are the best of the best. Yes, pardon. Commander Ikande says, and you'll go far. <clears throat> Excuse me. duty now on my birthday. It's gonna suck. later, okay? Excuse me. Hello. I thought it was clear that Lieutenant Toft should be your next stop. Lieutenant Toft will continue the briefing. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. 
It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. As you were. Pardon. <clears throat> Okay, hello. Yes? Howdy. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. Yeah, maybe. No, no, it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. There are much more important things to be done. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? Let me know if you need anything else. Is there anything else I can answer before you proceed to the next phase of your mission? How many pirates does it take to screw a light bulb? No idea. Hundred? One. It only takes one pirate to screw everything. Hey, howdy. <clears throat> Yes. 
United Colony System Defense at your service. service, Captain. Yes, Captain. United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. or we 
Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. If you see any trouble, you let us know. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though. I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not Neon. Don't let me keep you. If you're going to use the elevators or stairs to reach the other levels, try to keep them clean. I hate filing litter reports. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander. But they've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pull double duty, aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia security chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, nothing's been the same since the Red Devils' glory days. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself, and head of the program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. All the goddamn time. <laughs> it's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up and wonder if they have what it takes to be a red devil. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again. But it'd take nothing short of a miracle to convince the top brass to reinstate the program. Have yourself a good one. The community center on P1 is a good place to connect with others, or fulfill any spiritual needs. is going to run. If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Anything I can help you with? I'm sure you can find something you like.
Prince. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face, and then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing, except my ghost. Cause I am gonna haunt your asses till the end of your days. Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about, what, uh, another week? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. That's what we do here.
No, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, UC. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? Sounds like a plan. I can also take stuff off your hands, too, if that's something you're interested in.
See you around. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Here's an idea. Why don't you shout that louder so everyone at UC Security hears? <sighs> Either show me what you're trying to unload or get the hell out of here. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Oh yeah, well, I got some bad news for you, love. This location doesn't buy shit like that when you see security sitting a stone's throw from the front door. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Captain Sandra, greetings. Carrying additional supplies, if necessary. That's mine. Give it back. The miners have a secret. About something they call the Heart of Mars. I overheard one of them talking about Don't it. Don't try that again. Layla, I think it was. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Oh yeah? Well, I don't know who the hell you are. So what makes you think I'm going to help you out? Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say, I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Down! What the hell's the matter with you? You want to get us both thrown into lockup? Look, I don't know what that big mouth Searsha told you, but I keep who I run with a secret in public. And I suggest you do the same. Now, do you want my help moving your product, or not? Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Now listen up because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. 
Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miner's quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. some fines to clear up. Any stolen property or contraband you're carrying will be confiscated. The miners pretty much run the lower levels here. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person. help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? What? Play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Hey, there's no need to get too crazy. Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Uh, I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Oh, come on. I've heard every threat in the book. Why should this one be any different? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh my god. He might come after them? Because of me? I hadn't even thought of the possibility. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Can't talk right now, sorry.
life ain't easy, but... Have something for me? There, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Hello. by carrying so many items. Keep a look at careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Different name and a different identity. It was a damn good earner, too. 
brought in a ton of creds. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody, I mean, nobody, runs away from the fleet. Not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. This unpleasantness aside, the people of New Homestead will be grateful for these supplies. I thought we were dead. I can't believe it.
don't know how to take a hit.